Good morning. Good morning. God bless each and every one of you, my brothers and my sisters. This is Minister Rashimba Battles. Glory to God. Also author of From the Pulpit to the Pulpit. That's P-O-L-E-P-I-T to the Pulpit. P-U-L-P-I-T. Um, it is truly an honor and a privilege to be before you this morning. I give God all the praise. I give him all the glory, all the honor. For in him we have our movement and in him we have our being. Thank God for your life. Thank God for the opportunity to have my arms, my legs, those things that we tend to take for granted, you know, that that many don't have, but they are just so blessed and their mindset is just, I mean, they're just so, they, 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 they're thinking, they're not looking at what they don't have. They don't look at, they may be, they may have been uh born with a, a one arm or, or or no arms, no legs. There's a, um, a pastor, um, just such a blessing. He was born with no legs and no arms. And every time I see this pastor, I mean, he is just such an inspiration to me, such a blessing. Um, and he is just such a powerful man of God that God is just using so mightily in the midst, has a family, married, everything. God is just using him so mightily. So, you know, there's many times that we, um, we take our, we, we allow the, the things that we see, the, those things that have been counted as disadvantages, those things that have, that are looked at, um, a loss of a leg or arm or, um, you know, that we, we look at all these things as a, as a disadvantage, but God uses everything. God doesn't waste anything. Hallelujah. God does not waste anything in your life. Glory to God. He always will use that same thing that we see as a disadvantage, as a negative, and God will turn it around and use it as a positive. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So don't look at what is taking place in your life as a negative don't look at okay well you and, and 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 comparing because one of the things we do is we we fall into a place of of comparing what we have to someone else no we're not in a race with anybody else glory to god we're not in a a a a, 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 a place we have not been put here to compare okay well this person has this and, and try to keep up with that person and so on and so forth no that is not it at all. No, we have God has each in each and every one of us. We have our purpose. We have been put here for the glory, the glorification of God and God alone. Everything that you're going through, every situation, every circumstance. You know what? It's a blessing. You know what? I'm. It, it, you, we have to get to that place where we say, you know what, God, I thank you for this test. I thank you for what's taking place at my job. I thank you for what's taking place in my marriage. I thank you for what's taking place in my finances. I thank you because many times we say, okay, well, you know what? The rich have no problems. Guess what? Yes, they do. There are many who are very well off, but they're not happy. They don't have peace. Glory to God. So, and, 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 and so therefore stop comparing. Let we have to stop comparing our situation to others. Glory to God. We have to stop comparing, okay, and say, well, they're better. No, they're not. Every Everybody has their own path. So your path is not someone else's. So stop comparing your path to someone else's. Stop comparing what, what someone else is doing to what you should, because what some else, someone else is doing, God hasn't called you to do what they're doing. You have been called to a certain subset of people. So, so if, if that, if that person is going to um, ministering on the corner and they're they're doing they're they're evangelizing and they're speaking loudly through the bullhorn, but you say, "Oh God, well you know what? I'm going to do that." If God hasn't called you to do that, then you don't do what God hasn't called you to do. If you notice, the Bible says that God he, the, 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 that He sends people. Glory to God. God will send you. Glory to God. So let God send you, my brothers and my sisters. Don't just move by what you think God wants you to do. No, because see, when God speaks about 
Bible says that my sheep know my voice. Glory to God in John chapter 10. Hallelujah. So we know our voice. It's just like when, when you're in a crowded place and your children, your, your, your children, okay, you take your child, your children to daycare, all right? You have a hundred children there. There's a hundred children there, but it's something distinctive about your voice that your children know. Glory to God. Your children know your sound. They know your voice has a distinctive sound. It has a distinctive tone. It has a distinctive, uh, uh, um, uh, 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 you have a distinctive voice that they know. Okay, okay, that's mom or that's dad or grandma or granddad or whoever it is. They know your voice. Same way as it is with our father, our heavenly father, our God, our king, our, uh, I mean, this, he's our everything. He, you know his voice. Glory to God. God speaks where? He speaks to to our heart. He speaks to our heart because the thing is the head is where the enemy fights. This is where the enemy goes in and he starts to tell you what you are not. Glory to God. He begins to tell you things that you are not, but you have to understand when the enemy begins to speak to tell you what you are not, you have to begin to speak the opposite of that, of that and just say, yes, I am. I am the son and the daughter of the most high God. Hallelujah. I am a lender to nations. Glory to God. I am above and not beneath glory to God and that he will not withhold no good thing from me glory to God hallelujah I welcome you to the power to become hallelujah God has given he has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and of love and of a sound mind glory to God you have been deemed victorious in every situation every circumstance you have been deemed an overcomer from the beginning before you see we have to understand before this, the, the, the problems, the situations at your job, your marriage even occurred before the devil came up with it. God already knew about it. He already knew about it. So and, and, and think about it now. Every situation, every battle you fight, glory to God, you come out victorious, but no that that is preparing you for the next battle because the bible says in ephesians 6 12 for we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities against spiritual wickedness in high places rulers of darkness my brothers and my sisters this thing is real there is no coincidence there is no mishap glory to god the and and, and the, 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 there's many times where we 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 look at situations and we say well you know what oh that was just an accident no it was not an accident Glory to God. It could be a simple word that was spoken. Glory to God to, to distract you because see each and every one of you, you have a destiny. You have an assignment that, that God has already placed inside of you. He has implanted it on the inside of you to carry forth because your assignment entails people. It entails reaching people. It entails the lives being saved, transformed, being impacted that they will see the the glory of God, the light of God in you. The Bible says, let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. But what? Give God the glory. God gets all the glory. You see, everything we see, we get it twisted because what we do is we 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 say, okay, well, my job uh, does this, and they pay the bills. No, it is not your job that pays it. It is God. He is the resource. He is the ultimate resource that is providing for you. Glory to God. So wherever you are working, if it decides, if it goes belly up, guess what? Then you have no income there. So it is God that is maintaining you. It is God. God that's sustaining you. It is God that is keeping you. It is God that is making provisions for you. Glory to God. So we must acknowledge God in all things and he will direct our path. We have to be mindful. Glory to God of those spiritual cloggers. Glory to God. What is a clog? A clog. I, be, I, I was looking this up yesterday evening and it, it just, it just, it, just it, it came to me and I was like, wow. What is a clog? Because we cannot allow those the, the things, our environment to clog us, my brothers and my sisters. A clog is something that 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 prevents uh, the, 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 the flow. It, it, it blocks. It prevents that it, it prevents something from going through. So you figure you have a water pipe. And we know that if you do not keep that pipe clear, what's going to happen is over time, it's going to get clogged with different, um, different things. If you have uh, in your kitchen sink, if you have one, water can't cannot continuously flow freely. 
If you have, if you're pouring cooking oil down there, if you um, have food that's going down there, that's why they have these little strainers to prevent certain things from going in there because it will clog it up. Now notice that these pipes, they're not big pipes. They're very, they're small, but they have the capacity to allow the water to pass through freely. Now, what happens is that small pipe, once it gets clogged, it will cause a major impact in your home. So this and, it, it, and so it is with our lives. When we are are, are in a, a um, an environment, when we are allowing things to clog us up, what are things that can clog you? Uh, the wrong mindset. The wrong mindset, thinking negatively, not speaking what God is speaking about you, allowing what other people say to override what God has said about you. What are spiritual cloggers? Allowing unforgiveness to stay in your heart, allowing uh, uh, um, what are spiritual cloggers, spiritual cloggers. Are, 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 are allowing envy, looking at a, a comparison, comparing yourself to others. Glory to God. Uh, um, uh, 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 um, comparing yourselves and others so much so that you begin to try to take on their, 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 their habits. And, but the only one that we need to strive to be like is Jesus Christ because he is the ultimate, the only one that, 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 that he came here. He was without sin. Glory to God. And he came here to show us that no no matter what you're going through, glory to God, that you have a glorious end, that your destiny is glorious, your life is glorious, but it's all in how you see it. So we have not, we cannot allow spiritual cloggers. They are blockages. Glory to God. Because the thing is that you can sabotage your blessing. How can you sabotage your blessing? You say, well, well, Rashimba, how can I sabotage my blessing? Because, you know, God has spoken. Yes, God has spoken. But are you still speaking what God has spoken? Are you speaking that he said that the riches is coming? Is, are you speaking that your book is going forth? Are you speaking your health, even though the doctors and everyone else is looking at how you look and they say, well, you don't, you look bad. No, you need to say, no, I look good because I am well, that I am healed. These are the words that you have to speak, my brothers and my sisters. Are you speaking what God is saying about you, my brothers and my sisters? Because the thing is that the enemy, the Bible tells us in John 10, 10, that the, that, that the thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. And I tell you, my brothers and my sisters, he will not stop because the thing is that your, 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 your destiny is too great. Your assignment is too great. So anything that he can do to keep you from moving forward, guess what? He's going to do it and shows no mercy and shows no biases. Glory to God. It's no race thing, uh, black, white, Hispanic. No, he's going to come after you. Why? Because God God has spoken over your life. So therefore, he's going to do everything, whether it's coming through someone you know, someone you don't know. My brothers and my sisters, spiritual cloggers are, are those pains, those past pains that we've been holding on to. Those, 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 um, those, those things that have happened in childhood, those things that have taken place even at the, at the job of, of the promotion that you didn't get. And, and then you began to feel that, okay, that should have, that was yours. But we have to also understand that that door was closed, but we have to, we have to know that God has another door for you. He has another door for you. And I know I speak from personal experience. I applied for a position. This was years ago. And I applied for a position. And when I didn't get that position, I, I mean, it was just, I was, I, I didn't even realize how it impacted me, but my mindset and I, I mean, cause I just knew I had that position, but I tell you my brothers and my sisters uh, about a year or so after that, I was encouraged to apply for a management position, a higher management position. And I didn't think I qualified. Hallelujah. I didn't think I qualified. I didn't think that I was fit for that position, but God had he, God qualified me. Man doesn't qualify you, but God, it is God that qualifies you. Glory to God. There are many that say, okay, well, you know what? I should have this and I don't have, and I should have that. God has those doors for you, but my brothers and my sisters, you have to know your timing. 
Glory to God. The thing is, because if you go before God, my brothers and my sisters, and that door doesn't open, then what happens? You become frustrated. And guess what? You begin to become clogged. Your spiritual pipes become, begin to get clogged with resentment. And, 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 and you begin to, 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 um, to, to, the, your, 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 your spiritual pipes begin to get clogged with, uh, um, with animosity. These are the, these are spiritual cloggers that we have to be mindful of my brothers and my sisters, because it can slither in so cunningly. You don't even realize it's there. And then we get so comfortable with those cloggers, my brothers and my sisters. Now also understand that there are things that have clogged your spirit realm before you even came along. These are foundational cloggers, glory to God, foundational cloggers. And, and, and they just pass from one generation to the next. But the thing is that when you, when you, when, when you come into the realm of knowing this glory to God by the spirit of God, because you cannot, they cannot be discerned by no other than God himself, the Holy spirit revealing these things to you, my brothers and my sisters, that, that they can be uprooted and destroyed and that, that you will be set free completely. Glory to God. So my brothers and my sisters, as I, as I stand before you, as I come before you this morning, humbly giving God all the glory, the honor and the praise, even those subtle things, those subtle comments, let us be mindful because those are cloggers, cloggers that will keep, that will be a, a distraction to keep you from moving forward. They are, those cloggers are designed to, to, to enter glory to God with a, a unknowingly and unknowingly. So be mindful of those spiritual cloggers in your environment, in your home, in your marriage, in your mindset. Glory to God. The Bible says, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Love the, in, in, um, in 2 Corinthians 10 verses 3 through 5, it says, for though we war after the, for though we are before, for though with that, that for the, for, for though we war in the flesh, we do not, for though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal. Glory to God, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Glory to God. So let us be mindful of those spiritual cloggers, my brothers and my sisters. It may be something that someone that 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 you sit next to. They may it may be something that frustrates you. They may make a certain sound or a certain noise. These are distractions. These are cloggers. These are things the enemy will use to dis to, to to get you off course. So that. That you will not be on assignment so that you will not be focused my brothers and my sisters we have to be focused praise God and you would say well how can something so small be a, a, a distraction this is what it is it doesn't have to a distraction is not always something big glory to God it is something it could be something very small something that you would never suspect so this is why we have to be mindful of these things glory to God my brothers and my sisters, I thank God for your life. I thank God for what he is doing in you and through you, in your ministry, in your family. Glory to God. I thank God for the for covering you, for keeping you. I thank God for making provisions for you. I thank God for opening doors for you. Glory to God. Uncommon doors of favor. Uncommon doors, breakthroughs, signs, miracles, signs and wonders. Your healing. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Do not be be uh, uh, influenced by your environment. Let my, my brothers and my sisters, we must be, uh, we must be a thermostat. Hallelujah. The thermostat controls the temperature. So don't be the thermometer. Be the thermostat. Wherever you go, that is how the light of God will radiate through you. Glory to God. When others think that, okay, well, you know what? She should be uh, responding a certain way because we know that she has been diagnosed with this sickness. She's been diagnosed with cancer. She's been diagnosed with leukemia. She's been diagnosed with, or either they're looking at, okay, well, we know that her situation is not very favorable financially. So why is she walking around with a smile on her face? Why is she walking around praising God? Don't Jesus know what she's going through? Yes, he does, but he's also watching her too to see what she's gonna do while she's in that place. Glory to God. My brothers and my sisters, so they 
therefore, as we go forward, glory to God, let us be mindful of those spiritual cloggers. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because if we allow those spiritual cloggers to dominate us, to rule us, to lead us, to guide us, my brothers and my sisters, then Christ will not be seen in us. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Our ultimate goal, my brothers and my sisters, should be that Jesus... Jesus is seen at all times in every action in every deed and even in our thoughts above in our thoughts because our actions um, they, they, they originate from our thoughts glory to God and our thoughts come from our emotions so therefore we cannot move by our emotions but we got to move by faith we have to operate by faith glory to God because without faith it is impossible to please God if Abraham did not operate in faith. My, I mean, look at him. I mean, he was, oh, he was 99, 100 years old. But yet God is so faithful. Hallelujah. God is so faithful. And he still, God kept his word. He kept his word. His words did not fall to the ground. He continued. God kept his word. It, it, it did not come in the time that Abraham wanted it, but it came in God's timing. My brothers and my sisters, don't be discouraged because you don't see it happening, my brothers and my sisters, in your time. Just because you don't see something manifesting doesn't mean that God is not working on your behalf. It doesn't mean that it's not already on ground. Because what I have come to know, my brothers and my sisters, that I have experienced, and I'm pretty sure you have as well, that very same situation that seemed like it wasn't going to move, that it wasn't going to change, that it just was no shifting there. It, I mean, it was just it, it caused you to be discouraged it caused you to doubt God it caused you to 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 second guess what God has spoken my brothers and my sisters glory to God this is when you have to stand on God's word he said in in, in Isaiah 43 26 I believe he says put me in remembrance glory to God God you said this about me God you said so and so about my health God you said this this and I'm standing on your word you stand on his word and you back it up with scriptures you back it up with scriptures because see the thing is that every battle that every time that that the devil came to Jesus he said it is is written he didn't shift Jesus didn't waver he did because the word of God cannot be compromised it cannot be changed it will not change because we want it to no it will not Old Testament New Testament it will not change glory to God hallelujah so this is why we have to stand on the word of God and be cut and the same deliverance that God brought the to that brought uh, Shadrach Meshach and Abednego through they did not allow what King Nebuchadnezzar wanted them to do they weren't gonna bow no because they, he was not God he was not God Hallelujah. They said, we will not bow. Whether our God delivers us from this situation or not, we will not bow. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise. My brothers and my sisters, they did not give in. Glory to God. And this is the same thing that we must do. Do not allow your situation, your circumstances to hold you captive. Glory to God to, 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 to cause you to bow. Don't bow to no sickness. Don't bow to no lack. No. Know who you are in Christ. Glory to God. Hallelujah. You are rich beyond measure. Glory to God. You say we're rushing by house. So it's already on ground for you. It is already there, but you have to walk in it. Glory to God. Walk in your miracle. Walk in your blessing. Walk in the word that God has already spoken in and over your life. Glory to God. You say, we're rushing, but this is stop speaking what you see and speak what you want to see. Glory to the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It is not what you see that is that 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 will bring you the, the blessing is what you do not see yet. My brothers and my sisters in the natural, but by faith, by faith is the spiritual eye hallelujah that you speak glory to God and many will mock you many will say well you know what she's talking crazy she don't know what she's talking about or he don't know what they talking about 
because they're still moving slow. Glory to God. They're still walking. Uh, they're still walking. They're still looking like they're walking in pain. They're still um. They 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 still can't ho open their eyes all the way. They're looking at the natural, but you see, the natural mind cannot comprehend the spiritual things of God. Hallelujah. And when God has healed you, my brothers and my sisters, when God has delivered you, when He has restored you, you best believe that it is done. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Praise Karabo. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. My brothers and my sisters, glory to God. Know that you are in battle every day. You are contending with the devil every day. Glory to God. You are in that boxing match every day. Glory to God. Hallelujah. But you don't fight, you don't fight a natural battle. Uh, you don't fight a spiritual battle with natural means. No, you use the word of God, the sword of the spirit. Glory to God. You make sure that you are, you have your armor. Put on your armor. Put on your armor. Keep your arm, even when you're asleep. Make sure that you have your armor. And there's many times that, and I'm pretty sure that you can attest to this, that you have had dreams. Glory to God. These are night visions. Glory to God. That you are contending even in your dreams, my brothers and my sisters. Glory to the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God. Why? because you still have your armor on hallelujah you still have the helmet of salvation you still have the breastplate of righteousness you still have the shield of faith you still have your 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 your, your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel glory to god your loins girded about with truth glory to god Hallelujah. You have these things, my brothers and my sisters, that God has equipped us with. Glory to God. He has given you everything. You have an arsenal. You have the arsenal of almighty God. You carry it every day, every moment. Use what God has given you. Stop settling and, 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 and staying in that place of mediocrity. Fight for what God has given you. Know, my brothers and my sisters, that every time that God releases a word over your life, that it is time for you to battle. It is not time for you to be complacent. It is not time for you to be comfortable because those are enemies to your spirit. Those are enemies to your destiny being com comfortable being complacent is enemies to your to your assignment glory to God you must continue to push you must continue to press you must continue to move forward glory to God hallelujah praise the name of Jesus you are soldiers glory to God you are soldiers in the army of the Lord hallelujah you have been enlisted and every time God has spoken a word my brothers and my sisters guess what you have been enlisted into the realm of spiritual warfare glory to god they're going to war the demonic forces are going to war against that word on your life glory to god hallelujah but you stand the bible says having done all to stand do not shift do not waver my brothers and my sisters you get knocked down guess what get back up Glory to God. Glory to God. God has not given you a spirit to, to, to fear. He has not given you the, 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 the spirit of fear, but he has given you the spirit of love and of power and of, of sound mind, my brothers and my sisters. You get back up. You keep moving, my brothers and my sisters. Glory to God, because you are not moving in your own strength. Glory to God. The Bible says that in him we have our movement. In him we have our being. Glory to God. So you move forward in the power of God, the power of the Holy Ghost, the power of the Holy, the Holy Ghost is what enables us, glory to God, to overcome, to defeat, to speak powerfully, boldly, glory to God, Robosata. there is no son and daughter of God, hallelujah, that does not speak boldly, glory to God, hallelujah, because as, because being a son and daughter of the almighty God, there is a boldness that the Holy Spirit gives you, glory to God, that you can not only speak, but command, hallelujah, command what you want to see, my brothers and my sisters, glory to God. God and watch hallelujah watch hallelujah how God will move my brothers and my sisters put your angels to work each and every one of you you have angels that God have assigned to you glory to God but your angels are not moving why because you are not speaking the right words Job 6 25 says how forcible are the right words you must speak the right words glory to God because when you speak the right words glory to God your angels will go into action for you my brothers and my sisters Praise the name of Jesus. So stop looking at and saying, well, why is this situation not changing? If you're not speaking the right words, guess what? It's not going to change. Glory to God. You said, well, um, Rashimba, 
Doesn't God know? Yes, God knows. But you have a responsibility. Stop putting your responsibility off on God. He has already given us what we need to do. So therefore, we must speak. Hallelujah. And when we speak, glory to God. Hallelujah. Words of faith. Hallelujah. By the spirit of faith. Because faith is a spirit. Hallelujah. And we have been all given the spirit of faith. The Bible tells us. Hallelujah. We all have faith. When someone says, I don't have faith. Yes, you do. You have faith. We have all been given a level of faith, my brothers and my sisters. So walk in the faith. Hallelujah. The more you begin to speak, the more your faith will increase, the more you will see God manifest in your life as never before. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So I'm going to pray with you and over you, my brothers and my sisters. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I'm just looking at the time here, my brothers and my sisters. Glory, glory to God. Hallelujah, my brothers and my sisters. I'm going to pray over you and with you. Glory to God, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah, my brothers and my sisters. I give God the glory, the honor, and the praise over your life. Hallelujah. Praise God. Father God, I pray for your sons and your daughters. Father, cover them. Protect them. Keep them. Father God, this day in the name of Jesus, I speak victory over them. I speak healing. I speak deliverance. Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, you said greater is he that is in us than he that is in the world. Father God, saturate them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, I pray, oh God, for uncommon doors, uncommon favor. Father God, to overtake them in the mighty name of Jesus. Every door, my God, that the enemy has closed, my God, I command in the mighty name of Jesus, Irobo Sikata, in the name of Jesus, that God, that those doors be open. Father God, and the doors that you close, my God, that they remain closed. Because God, you have a bigger door, my God, that you have set before your sons and your daughters. In the mighty name of Jesus, all the glory, Father God, all the praise, all the honor, my God, we give to you, God. I thank you for healing. Thank you for deliverance. Father God, I thank you every disease, my God, every sickness. God, I cast it out in the name of Jesus. Because Father God, you said by your stripes she were healed in the mighty name of Jesus. Father God, I speak, oh God, uh, oh God, abundance. I speak overflow in their lives. Because God, you said in Ephesians 3.20, oh God, that you will do exceedingly and abundantly above that which we are able to ask a thing. In the name of Jesus, I pray. God bless you, my brothers and my sisters. Have a productive, blessed, overflowing day in the mighty name of Jesus. My brothers and my sisters, glory to God. Welcome. Thank you for connecting uh, with me and the power to become. Glory to God. Um, uh, um, also know that my book is available from the pulpit to the pulpit. Reach out to me. Hallelujah. I can get you a copy or you can get it on Amazon 919- 258-8301 or 919-374-6072. I promise you it will be a blessing to you and for you. Give it to someone else. My brothers and my sisters, glory to God. It will minister to you so powerfully. Um, I will be um, uh, on the Kingdom Mindset Network in um, Fayetteville, North Carolina on September the 6th uh, with Pastor Marvin Gregory. My brothers and my sisters also uh, beginning... Um, uh, the 8th of September. Glory to God. I'll be on Mocha Live Inspirational uh, Radio. Glory to God uh, at 5 p.m. each Sunday. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Um, also, I'll be in Louisiana, September the 14th through the 15th to do a revival service there. And also, I'll be in Georgia, November the 15th. Glory to God. So God bless each and every one of you. I look forward to connecting with you tomorrow morning. God bless you. I love you. And thank you again for connecting to the power to become. God bless you.